Welcome back, beer tubers. Time yet again to look at another seasonal from Sierra Nevada up in Chico, California. This is their Ruthless Rye IPA, 6.6%. They released this last year for the first time. This is the 2013 batch, and they're supposed to use a lot of rye malt in it. I had it last year, did not review it, so just bought a six pack today, and I want to get it reviewed. Pours out a very, very crystal clear. Uh, darker orange, almost like a burnt orange type of character to it. I was getting about a finger of just slightly off-white head. Not a whole lot of carbonation streaming up on this one, but uh, definitely some carbonation to it as I swirl it around. Let's get the aroma. Wow, it's, it's got, um, there certainly is some malt presence, but wow, it's just really hot forward. I'm using whole leaf hops. There's certainly a, a citrus character, uh, a, like a brighter grapefruit, but most of this is just one of the most dank, resinous beers I've ever smelled. Uh, I'm no stoner, but this beer smells like weed to me. I mean, it's just really resiny, dank, piney. Obviously, hops are a cousin to marijuana, so you're going to have a little relationship sometimes with these hops. Uh, there's definitely a spiciness coming through, maybe even from the hops, uh, certainly some sweet uh, spicy rye character going on, sweet bread, but yeah, it's it smells great. Let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, it's nice stuff. It's it's got decent balance, but it's it's certainly hot forward. It, it it's pretty bitter up front. I like the fact that it's under seven percent for an IPA. It allows the hops to kind of do their thing a bit more, but um, they kept the mouthfeel real nice. Uh, this beer doesn't need out any additional alcohol to kind of help balance it out or, or get you know, or improve the mouthfeel of the beer. Um, the rye alone is going to really help do that. Falls knows pretty well. I, I'm getting, definitely get that really dank, resiny bitterness up front. Um, and then that more bitter hop character transitions into that more citrus floral sweeter hop character more like a sweeter orange sweeter grapefruit character and then the malt sweetness kind of comes in through the back end start to pick up some of that rice spiciness and just the sweeter bread with a little bit of a caramel malt character finishes nice and dry with maybe a little bit of a yeast ester fruitiness to it kind of pick that up right at the end and then uh, the lingering character, though, is, is certainly hops. That really dank, uh, spicy, resinous character lingers on your tongue. And uh, this is just a really nice beer. It's, it's something that I've picked up. Uh, I'm going to pick up probably every year from them to go along with Bigfoot this time of the year in the wintertime. Uh, I really like rye. I really like how it works in an IPA. Adds a lot of mouthfeel, adds that nice spicy component that works really well with American hops, even New Zealand hops, and, and Alpine's Nelson's a prime example of that. So I still, you know, I'm going to pick Nelson over this one as far as favorite rye IPAs go, but this one's uh, definitely recommended, uh, Ruthless Rye, if you're more into that citri more citrus, dank, resiny type of character in a beer, you'll like this one. So that's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.